Good morning everyone. Today we're going to take a quick look at the OPINL number 12. The big boy. <laughs> Alright, so before we start, I want to give a big thanks to my YouTube buddy, Rational Prepper. He got me to look at that number 12 uh, from his video, and I'm going to link, link his video in the description below. I really recommend it. It's a bit longer than what I do, but it's really funny, and it got me uh, to think and to get the number 12 before we open it. You all probably remember the number 9 that I showed on the show beautiful the carbon steel one and i still love it very much it's uh kind of an edc a three and a half inch nine centimeter blade it's starting to get its own patina if you can see oh yeah just natural i didn't do anything to it that's how the steel behaves and uh let's open up the number 12 that's what we're here for <laughs> Still got some oil on it. Let me just wipe that off. Boy, is there a difference between those two. This is basically a big <laughs> steak knife. Uh, sorry about hitting the camera <laughs> tripod. So look at the difference between these two boys. Now the nine is no, is no small knife by any means, but the 12, as you can see, is way way bigger and if you don't own an Opinel I definitely recommend you getting one because this is something very unique this whole 1898 type of feel this company's been around for about 120 years and uh, this is something really unique comes very very sharp out of the box mine is kind of dirty I opened a whole lot of boxes with it when we moved, but uh, this thing is just just awesome. You know, it's got the locking collar here, it's where the blade locks manually. Got a little bit of sand in there, and it's got enough friction so that the slip joint doesn't lock on you automatically or just falls. And of course it locks on the other direction as well so that little kids won't be able to open it this way it's locked. And uh, let's cut some paper with it, see what it does. <laughs> All right, this nice looking girl here, sorry about that. <laughs> That's the number nine, the older one, never sharpened it out of the box. It's almost razor sharp still. Let's look at the, at the thicker stock, number 12. Let's see if there's any difference. Yeah, well, a thicker blade will cut to a less degree, but this thing is still magical. Very nice. Oh yeah. There's no difference. Even though this one's a bit newer and it's got some gunk on it. Still cuts very nice. So, if you wanted more for food prep, I'd recommend getting the stainless steel one. It's a Scandinavian type steel. And this one's more equivalent to a 1095. The carbon steel. But if you do not own an open L knife up until this point, go out there and get one, whatever size suits you. And I bet if after you get the first one, you will want another and probably other. Number nine here and the number 12 here. Thanks to Rational Prepper. This is it from the Blazing Blades Bunker. See you guys later.